For those of you who are familiar with Midjourney, it is a image generation software. Each numbered iteration, one, two, three, four, five, six, is a leap in quality. We are looking at what I believe is a transcendent move from where it, instead of it just making images that felt like they are created by a machine, we've now hit a point where it can create very, very, very realistic looking images. And when I say realistic, this is not the idea of like how many pores are on their face. You can get images that look like they were shot on an iPhone 11 at a bar mitzvah and these look like real people. A Reddit user named Kudzu I posted a thing on Reddit that blew up and it says progress on more complicated scenes for photorealism. So if you look at this series of pictures, there's a series of people looking like they're waiting like on a bench outside, almost like a, a, a court. Then you go to the next one. It's a very clean shot of New York, the New York City skyline. Then it's a group of people that are like an Italian family. You see an Indian couple at an Indian wedding. You see a couple in a bar that are um, just hanging out, like taking a picture. Little from their slice friend. of lights, yeah, life yeah. vignettes. You know, someone purchasing a burrito at a bodega. Exactly. Someone mid bite at a table at a restaurant in a booth where the camera is not perfectly framed. It's not yeah. like a cinematographer lined everybody up and perfectly lit everybody. It looks like Brenda was waiting at a cheesecake factory for her key lime pie to arrive and was mid bite when someone snapped a photo. And then she said, delete that. Don't post that to Facebook, but somebody did, Gavin. That's, That's exactly how believable. Right. So this is what we've, you know, if you're unfamiliar with the term, the uncanny valley, it means that basically the closer you get to human beings, the more weird it can look. The, po the Polar Express is the perfect example of this. When you see the kid in the Polar Express, he looks come lifeless and zombie-like. We are now approaching a level where the uncanny valley may not exist. So I use Midjourney 6, which is now available to everybody who has Midjourney. You have to go in and change the settings to V6 if you want to use it, which you can do in the slash settings place, or you can just add it to your prompt dash dash V6.0. And my prompt for this first one, Kevin, was an old man in his 70s sitting, sitting on a mat in the garden, bright summer morning in the mid-1980s, smiling, morning, heavy, uncombed hair, full body, shot on Kodak disposable camera film, mm. foil holographic. And I stole that prompt from somebody on Reddit. I just want to be clear like that. I just wanted to see because I had seen a couple other images. But you can tell these images. So that's the old man, and I did it for the old yeah. woman. These look like real human people. <laughs> if you told me that you went to a garage sale this weekend and grabbed some negatives out of a cookie tin yeah, exactly. and had them, had them up resed, I would say, yeah, that's believable. The light, the shadows, the sun, the skin, the glint in the eye, the clothing that they're wearing, the slight, there's even like, like a slight dust or speckle on the photo yep. itself, probably from that Polaroid prompting. You do see hands in there. There's like a, a, a uh, maybe a middle-aged redheaded woman sitting on the grass and you do see her hands. And if I were pinch zooming and enhancing, yeah. I might think maybe the right hand looks a little odd, but I know a, that there are solves for that. And B, if I were just doing a cursory glance of these photos on any other site, I would have no reason to suspect that they were AI generated whatsoever. And that's yeah, just I mean a single person in the scene. And I know now it can handle multiple subjects. Yeah. So, I mean, go to the next picture and you'll see the hands in this one definitely need some work. But oh, like yeah. this one, a fo phone photo of a man sitting on a bench with his family at a wedding in New York posted to Reddit in 2019. This is another example of something I saw somebody do, wow. which was use the prompt posted to Reddit. So, you know, there are photos of people that have been posted to Reddit forever and ever. And by using that, you're going to get a very kind of unique style that feels very organic again and again outside of the hands and by the way i don't know why the hands are so bad because it felt like they had solved hands but something about v6 right now the hands are not very good but again you yeah. see three people that look very believable as human beings and these are not real people you can extrapolate this out based on where we've come from video <laughs> it won't be that far where you could type in you no. know, 1984 wedding from, uh, you know, upstate New York, uh, Latino family, all this stuff and have a video pop out that is something like this, which is kind of crazy. Tell me about this this next photo here, because this one just looks like anything in anybody's camera roll. Yes. It's unassuming, but it's perfect because of that, I think. That's that's exactly why I sent this on to you. So I played around a little bit more and I, I, just, I just tried some other ones. And this is actually the same sort of prompt. I said uh, a phone photo of a woman 
woman sitting on a park bench smiling in New York City posted to Reddit in 2019. Style Raw AR 916. Um, and this is what came out. And this one I picked specifically because that looks like somebody's friend. Do you know what I mean? Like that just looks like a picture or a girlfriend or somebody's friend. And that is a completely made up person that the internet, uh, that does that, that mid journey was able to kind of like create out of the blue. So all of this talk about mid journey using famous art, famous artists and creating, you know, IP of famous people or famous IPs totally fair. And I think we're going to run into a lot of issues, but the fact that a AI software, can now create what is a very believable still image of a human being completely out of the blue, you can only extrapolate further where it goes from here. 